Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to a brand new Photoshop tutorial for today. We're doing one of these every single day in the month of June and uh, today we're going to be doing an interesting uh, little text effect, an 80s style uh, text effect and I think that you'll enjoy it. So let's go ahead and start uh, with our project. The first thing we need to do is when we get one of these um, uh, text effects, we need some kind of uh, background. So I'm thinking for like a an 80s style poster or font, we need a little bit of a space background. So I've got a space picture right here taken directly off of a uh, stock website. So here's just a little background right here, just a little star image. And then what we need is one of those little fancy grids. We see those a lot in these posters. So I've got another grid uh, that I found online, uh, you could easily draw one of these, but I'm just gonna go and bring one of these grids in just like that. Let's invert it so it's white so we can see it. And uh, what we want to do is make it look like it's going off into the distance. And so that's pretty easy. Just hold your control uh, key down on the keyboard and let's just start dragging all of these uh, little corners here. I'm gonna do it kind of like this and then bring these off to the side. And what that does is it makes it look like the, the grid is kind of like going off into outer space or something like that. Um, kind of a very uh, uh, popular look in the 80s, but something kind of like that. Just drag your little um, uh, corners wherever you want it to go. And let's give it a nice little purple color. So I'm going to grab like a purplish pink color like this, and I'm just going to draw some purple on it like that. There we go. So I just made a new layer on top of it and clipped it. And then we'll just kind of fade out uh, the grid here in the background, kind of going off in outer space. There we go. We've got our grid. So let's go ahead and put that in one group and we'll call that our grid. Now we need to get some text. And so I've got uh, a font here. Mont is the name of the text and uh, or the font. And you can get that all in online on dafont.com, uh, but Mont is the one I'm going to be using, or you can use any font that you want. And so what we're going to be doing today is uh, my Instagram account just got 350,000 followers on Sunday. And so what we're going to be doing is kind of celebrating that. So thank you to everyone who's followed my account. I really and truly appreciate each and one of you. And uh, I just want to do a little uh, picture right here to show you how to uh, do this text effect. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is do 350K on the top, and then I'll do followers on the bottom. So we have two different uh, pieces of text here, just like that. All right, make sure they're nice and centered on our screen. And now what we're going to do is we'll just go ahead and work on the 350K, and we'll go ahead and start uh, doing some text effects to give it that nice 80s feel to it. Uh, so what we want to do is let's go to your FX down here and let's go to, uh, first of all, we'll start off with a gradient overlay. So just click on gradient overlay. And then when you have a gradient overlay, you have all of these different options that you can choose from. Uh, some of these are already included or some of the ones that maybe I've made in the past. Uh, but we'll just go ahead and start with a plain black and white one here. And uh, this is what it would look like with a gradient overlay. You would see this, this black and white color here, uh, and it's just kind of fading up through the letters, but we don't want bl straight black and white. We want it to have different effects on here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a bunch of different colors that are gonna go from the bottom to the top. The very first color we want to do is like a little blue, like a light, like a light sky blue, something kind of like that. And then we're gonna do another color. So just click right there. And then this one's gonna be more of a purple. So kind of like a, like a saturated pinkish purple, kind of like that. And then we're gonna do another color. And this one is gonna be like a black. So we're gonna actually gonna go all the way down here to like a dark purple, very dark purple or a black. And then we're gonna do another color. And this one's gonna be like a sky blue, but it's gonna be practically white. So almost white, just like that. Then we'll do another one. This one is going to be like a light blue again. And then we'll do another one that is a little bit darker blue. And then we'll do the last one is like a really dark blue, kind of like that. There we go. All right, so we've got 
blue, light blue, purple to black to white to light blue to darker and darker blue. So this is kind of the idea what we want to do. And uh, I'm just going to move these black, this black color and this white very close together, practically touching each other, something like that. And I'm just going to start sliding these things around uh, to a point where I like them. And I think something like that looks pretty good. Click OK when you're done with it, and uh, this is the gradient that we have. Now, you can always just grab uh, this gradient and move it up and down, uh, and you can also use the scale if you want to make it tighter or wider, but um, I think I think something like that's going to look good. Make sure that that little cross section goes right through the middle, and uh, I think something like that looks pretty good. Okay, now that's our gradient map, so that's, that looks fine, but now we need to do a little bit more. Let's go to our uh, stroke. And uh, what we want to do for stroke is do a size on here that uh, depends on what, what effect you're going for, but I think about 10 is, would be good. And then we'll do a nice little light blue on it as well. Finally, I'm gonna do a bevel and emboss. So go ahead and click your bevel and emboss. And this is gonna be up to your personal preference, uh, but I like to have those nice bright highlights on the bevel. And so we're gonna make that go all the way up to 90 degrees. And uh, the multiply looks fine as well. Uh, so you can play around with those how you want it, but I think that looks fine. Click OK, and this is what we've got. Now I'm going to do is just right-click this one, do Copy Layer Style, and then I'm going to go to the word Followers, and then Paste Layer Style, and now we have this right here. So we have 350K, and then we have Followers underneath it. It's a little bit dark on the background, so what I'm going to do is get a nice little blue color here and just kind of paint it. Uh, behind the text, kind of like that. I think that will look fine. And yeah, I think something like that looks good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a year. The year is 2020. So I'm going to do another font here. I'm going to do, what font do I want to do? I'm going to do this font, chalkier. Chalkier, also off of uh, dafont.com. And so I'm going to get this uh, the year 2020, and we're just kind of kind of throw it right up here. But instead of this uh, purple color, I'm going to change it to like a bright pink color, kind of like that. Yeah, nice bright pink color. And then I'm going to do a uh, FX and do a uh, outer glow, and I'm going to use that same pink color and just do a screen blend mode on it for this outer outer glow, and that's gonna go right on the uh, outside of this. Click OK, and then I'm going to uh, do a little bit of uh, painting on it, so I'm gonna make a new layer on top of the 2020. I'm gonna get a white brush, a white brush, a small white brush, and I'm just gonna zoom in, and I'm just gonna paint just, just little bitty highlights right on top of the uh, the 2020. So you can kind of figure out where you want them to go. Uh, they can be as many or as few as you want. But just draw in a little bit of highlights on here to kind of make it look like a balloon, like a little bubble effect here. Uh, just draw in some highlights right on it. Just like that. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, and you can spend as much time on it as you want. And let's zoom out and see how we look. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to do one more uh, adjustment. I'm going to do a gradient map on top of everything. Let's do, let's try this one. I've got a gradient map that's a purple to a pink to a white. And let's change that to overlay. And that looks pretty good, I think. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, this is our overall picture. You don't have to do that gradient map. You may just want to do it like that. You could also change it to like a blue. That looks pretty good too. We might just do that one. Like a nice blue color there. You can play around with this. I, I spend a lot of time trying to figure out what's the perfect gradient map. So you can, you can definitely try to figure out what's the best one for you to use. But I like that. I think that looks good. And uh, that's just a quick and easy way to get this nice little 80s effect. You've probably seen a bunch of movies or posters that have this... Uh, effect on it. And uh, so it's really fun. But thank you again to all 350,000 of my Instagram followers. I really appreciate you following me. I appreciate the encouragement, the comments, the messages, everything. And uh, so I just wanted to, to say thank you and I uh, hope that you enjoy these tutorials. And uh, that's all I got for today. But tomorrow, tomorrow morning, we'll have a new one. And uh, so I'll see you again at the next video. Thanks, guys.